Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are going to be jumping right into today's project. As some of you know, I am currently working on a few DIY projects for my daughter's bedroom makeover. And one of those projects included building her a Montessori floor bed. Perfect for a toddler her size transitioning out of a crib or in her case, a traditional toddler bed with a crib mattress. I will be showing you exactly how I built it and the total cost, exact dimensions and cuts will be listed in the description. I began by cutting down a total of four boards down to 20 inches and another four boards to 42 inches. These will make up my side panels. I wanted my bed frame to be a total of 20 inches tall so I cut down a few more 2x4s down to 13 inches. Those same 13 inch boards I ripped down to become 2x2s which actually measure 1.5 by 1.5 inches. I did not remove the rounded off edges that traditional lumber comes with because I will leave the rounded off edges towards the inside of the bed. I feel like it might be a little bit safer. You can definitely buy 2x2s instead of ripping your own down, but this does save some money. I then moved on to cutting three boards to 77 inches, two of which I will use for the back panel and one that I'll use for the front panel. I also cut one board at 45 and a half inches and another at 16 and a half inches for the front panel as well. Once I was done with that, it was time to start marking all the holes I will be creating later. I started with my 2x2s. To determine the middle of the ends of the boards, I drew a line from one end to the other creating an X where the X met is where I would be drilling my pilot holes. It's a bit time consuming but it does work. Before we get too deep into this project, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. It is a place to come together to find inspiration and to take the next step in your creative journey. If you've been around for a while, you know I have been a part of the Skillshare community for some months now, and at first I took classes over productivity and time management to help me manage my time better. I've more recently taken a change in direction and decided to take a couple of classes in gardening. We've been growing plenty of veggies and fruits over the past several years, but I felt like I could be doing so much more for our garden. I recently took a class called Sustainable Gardening offered by Mark Shorter. It really helped me to understand the importance of sustainability and how I could incorporate sustainability into our own garden. I've since started my own compost pile and it's been very excited to see what would normally be tossed in the trash be reused into our garden that will yield us plenty of food. Skillshare is ad free so you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills without interruptions. They have new premium classes launched each week so there's always something new to discover. They even now offer subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description or my code Glenda Chavez will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now back to the video. This is where I'll try to explain so that it doesn't get a little bit confusing, but I took the boards that I would be using for my side panel and dry fitted them. After determining the spacing of each 2x2, I went and marked where I would be placing them centered on the upper and lower 2x4s. The spacing is completely up to you and what you prefer. There are standards when it comes to cribs and this bed is not made up to those standards. But because this is for a toddler, I feel comfortable with the spacing I chose. The next thing to do was to make sure all of my boards lined up perfectly straight and then marked one inch and two and a half inches from the edge of where the boards met. I will be joining these boards with dowel pins and in order to get dowel pins to fit correctly, you have to get your holes to match up perfectly. This is my first time using dowel pins because honestly, I've just been way too intimidated to try it before. Measuring and marking this way gave me accurate results. After I marked the one inch and two and a half inch mark on one of the two by fours, I used my square to run the measurement across both boards. I repeated this to all four sides. Then I took my square and once again took that initial mark of where the two by twos will go and ran it across all sides of the two by fours. The halfway mark of the depth is three quarters of an inch, so that's where I marked on the top and bottom of each two by four. I then marked the same depth on the boards that I had left to where I will be using dowels. I repeated the entire process for the second panel. Thank you. 
I followed the same process for the back panel except the back panel doesn't have any sideboards since I will be connecting it directly to the side panels. Remember that the front panel had a bottom piece that measured 77 inches in length, but it also had a shorter 44 and a half inch board to run on the top. That is because I am creating an opening. To close the panel, I used a 2x4 board at the end at 16 and a half inches. Now that everything was marked, it was time to make all of our holes and put things together. I started by creating the small pilot holes on both ends of the 2x2s. As I'm showing you here, the same drill bit I used for the 2x2 I am using for the 2x4s here as well. Keep in mind that the bottom and top of the panel I will use a much larger drill bit, 3 8 to be exact, in order to get the head of the screw at least 1 inch into the wood. Here I am showing you where the dowels will be going in to join the 2x4s together to form the panel. For that I am using a 5 16 dowel with a 5 16 drill bit. Remember to try to drill as straight as possible and exactly where you marked. I used some fast setting wood glue and a 3 inch screw through the bottom of the 2x4 to attach them together. I did the exact same to attach the opposite end. I apply some wood glue on each joint and on other end of the dowel. I used the exact same method for the remaining panels, making sure to use the correct drill bit size for the right holes.
I also used the same method to measure and mark out where I would be placing the dowel pins to join all the panels together. I used the same 1 inch and 2.5 and inch marks with a 3 quarter inch depth on either end of the back and front panel. The side panels I used the same marks but they went on the face of the panel like this. Keep in mind that one of my side panels, the right one in my case, would only have one set of holds for dowel pins since the opening of the bed did not require a top set. Once I was done with all of that, I sanded everything smooth. To cover the holes on the top, I used some button caps. I felt like it would add a great decorative element, which is the main reason why I didn't just use dowel pins for the 2x2s. The bottom holes I left as is since you won't be seeing those. I sealed everything with some feet and wax, waited 30 minutes before removing any excess, and waited an additional 30 minutes before bringing everything inside. Once inside, I used glue on both ends of the dowel pins and on all of the joint surfaces before joining the panels together. I did not create any slats for this bed since it's sitting directly on the floor and I will be using a box spring on the mattress. And just like that, we have a bed. The total cost of the bed was just under $100, 97 to be exact, for all of the lumber, dowel pins, screws, and button caps. This is something that can be built in one to two days. It took me roughly 10 hours to complete. Hope. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help my channel grow. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on this bedroom makeover process. Here's the sneak peek of the next DIY project I will be tackling to add to this space. I love y'all, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!